Hello and welcome to our third Messy Church Online, which was meant to be at the end of July, but we've delayed it till this Sunday in August, the week when you go back to school. And I'm sorry to remind you about that, but the holidays are over. Lots of folk have helped to put this together, and before we start, let's have a big hello from some of the helpers. Oh. Hello. 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 Well, even the dog's chiming in, that's good. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to say much just now except to introduce our first song Karen and Hazel have put together. And it ties in with the theme we're looking at today, which is stuff about boats and water and storms. And the song is called My Lighthouse. everyone i hope you're all well and have had a good holiday and that your preparations for going back to school are going well it will be so nice to see all your friends again we also hope to see you all again soon too but today we will continue online i can imagine you will all have lots of big feelings about going back to school maybe some worries maybe you're a bit nervous or maybe you're just excited so in today's messy church we are looking at a story in the bible where the disciples of jesus were in a stormy sea when things were very difficult and they felt worried, and then how we can learn to manage our own worries. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for this beautiful place that we have been blessed to live in. We thank you for the trees and the hills and the rivers that we are surrounded by and that we have appreciated 
so much, especially in the last few months. We pray for all the visitors that are here just now, that they are getting to enjoy this too, Lord, and we pray that they will all be blessed. Lord, we thank you for the holidays that we have had, any times away, any times at the beach, messing about. It's been such fun. Lord, we thank you for any reunions that we may have had with grannies and granddads, other family members, friends that we perhaps haven't seen in quite a long time. Lord, we pray and thank you that you are always with us. That even when times are hard and things are uncertain, that you're always there for us to speak to and to call to. Lord, we pray that you'll bless everybody who's watching Messy Church today and be with us all. In your name we pray. Amen. Hello. I've got a story for you today about Jesus and his friends. Jesus had 12 special friends and they were called his disciples. Well, this day they were out on a hillside and there were hundreds and hundreds of people who had come to listen to Jesus. There was big and little and young and old and Jesus talked to them all. As you can imagine, at the end of the day, he was very tired. And he said to his friends, let's get a boat, go across the lake and find somewhere to rest. But it must have been quite a big boat because there was Jesus and 12 others, not just a wee rowing boat. When they got on the boat, Jesus found a comfy spot, lay down and fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful day out on the lake. The sun was shining, the water was calm, the birds were flying about. But when they got out to about the middle of the lake, the sky started to get darker and darker. And there was great big black clouds. There was a storm coming. Well, the sea got rougher and rougher. And the waves got bigger and bigger and the boat was going up and down and there was even water coming over the side of the boat. The disciples were getting rather worried. Quick, get a bucket and start bailing. But as soon as they threw the water out the boat, the waves were throwing it back in. I help my feet are getting wet. We're going to drown. The disciples very afraid. Now Jesus had slept through all of this. He hadn't heard a thing. And the disciples had almost forgotten he was there. He was so quiet. But then they remembered and they went and they shook him and they woke him up and they said, Jesus, Jesus, we're going to drown. Well, Jesus stood up, raised his hand and said, Wind, be still. Waves be calm. And do you know what happened then? Everything went quiet. The thunder and lightning stopped. The rain stopped. The wind calmed down. And even the birds came out flying again. Well, the disciples looked at each other and said, Wow, who is this man who can even command the wind and the waves. We've never met anyone so powerful. And they knew then that they could really trust Jesus. Well, I've got something to help you remember this story. Here's my lake, not as big as the one the boat went out on. And remember, it was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. There was probably a lovely golden sunset. And then the black clouds came over. Here's my sunset. Then the black clouds appeared. getting darker and darker and there was 
A storm. And the waves got higher. And the water was in the boat. And they woke Jesus up. And when he told the storm to calm. Everything went quiet. And the water was calm. And they knew they could trust Jesus. Hi, Messy Churchers. Good morning. So we're going to make a little boat today. Need a piece of paper, A4, coloured or white, doesn't really matter. But uh, just get yourself a piece of paper. So, um, I want you to take your piece of paper. Without further ado, we're going to make a boat. First thing you're going to do is you're going to fold it over. And um, origami is the Japanese art of paper folding. And making little artifacts like birds and little hats and boats and things. So that's your first fold. And then you're going to fold it again to get it lined down the middle. Try and be as accurate as you can, get everything lined up nicely. There we go. Okay, so here we have the first fold, the second fold. Okay, and at that point you're going to open it up again. And then we're going to take the closed end, so keep this open end towards you, this piece. We're going to fold these two corners into the middle. So that's the first one there. And it follows the line down there. And a nice crease again. It's all about folding and creasing. And another one down there. Okay, oh, a bit further over I think there, that one. Okay, so this is what you've got. You've got your second fold, there you go. And you're folding them down like that. And then you'll notice that you've got these two flaps at the bottom, one on each side, okay? And you're gonna fold that up as far as it will go. It will only go so far, like that. And again, nice and creased. And turn it over like that. And you're gonna fold that one up as well. Like that. Okay, so this is what we've got. It's almost like a wee hat at this stage, like this. Okay, so get your folds back up. And there we go. And these little triangular pieces, okay, we're gonna fold them in. So the first one, you're gonna fold it over like that. And you're gonna take the other one and fold it back over this way. And this one, you're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it over, tuck it in. And then this final one, fourth one, Tuck it over this way and do that. Okay, so now you really have something that looks like a little hat, okay? And you can see that it opens up here, okay? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the two pointy bits and we're just going to squeeze it open so it folds over, okay? And it makes a kind of a kite shape, okay? So once we've got this little kite shape, we're going to take the open end and we're going to fold it up again to the top. Yeah, good crease. Okay, turn it over, do the same with the other side. Turn it up to the top. Again, okay, good crease. Okay, so you can see there, we folded this one up to the top, this one up to the top. That's when we started with the kite. Okay, and again, we're going to open it up like this. You can see that it opens up. And we'll open it up and we'll squeeze it over. Okay, again, put it down and make it nice and creased. And then you'll see that you've got two open pieces here. Okay, and you're just going to gently prise these apart. Gently just prise them apart. And here we have our boat. And you can bring this middle one up like a little sail to that little fold there, you have a 
our little boat. And here we have some more little boats. We've got a whole fleet of arcs here. Anyway, this is how long it took me to work out what I was actually doing. So there you go, an origami boat. Okay. God bless. Enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the messy church. Mary from Messy Church made a lighthouse scene to go with the song Karen sang today. It reminds us that God is our lighthouse, keeping us safe. Mary used acrylic paint to paint her board and made her lighthouse out of a kitchen roll. I like the light on the top. It's the top of a comfort bottle. You can't see its sellotape to the board because she's stuck small stones all around it. She's got pine cone trees and used small boxes for houses. Isn't the washing line clever? She's stuck string on straws blue tacked to the base and made felt clothes blowing in the wind. She's even got a boat on the shore with oars. You could make your own model using a large stone or piece of wood or a board like Mary and bits from outside or in the house. Thank you, Mary, for your lovely model. We'd love to see yours too. You could email us a photo. Happy building. In the story today, Jesus calmed the storm. Sometimes we need to be calmed, especially if we have lots of worries. Coronavirus and lockdown might have caused us some worries. A good way to deal with our worries is to talk them through with an adult or a friend. It is really important that we do this, that we talk about them with someone that we trust. However, if we talk about them lots and lots and all the time, they can get bigger and bigger, when actually what we want is for them to get smaller and smaller. So a good thing that you could do is make a worry box like this one that Neve painted earlier today. So what we can do is you can write your worries down and then put them in the box. Then you can arrange with your mum or dad a set time when you talk about your worries. This will hopefully mean that you can forget about them for a little while because you know you'll have a special set time later on to talk them through. So a huge thank you to everyone who has contributed to this today to help put it together, which is a real team effort. There's music and words and crafts and technical stuff. So it's great. Thank you to everybody who's helped out. This is going to be a big week for some folk because schools are going back after a very long time away. Before the holidays, you had to do your schoolwork at home, which is maybe not very easy. Then you've had the holidays, which were a bit different because we couldn't do all the things that we would normally do in school holidays. But we've had good weather, which has been a great blessing. So maybe you're a wee bit worried about going back now. It's going to be different. You'll be looking forward to seeing your friends again and your teachers, maybe a new teacher. But there will be new rules and new ways of doing things. It won't be the same as it was when you were last there, and that can be a wee bit of a worry. And if you're not worried, well, I know that some mums and dads are. They've had the difficult job of helping teach you at home, as well as all the other things they had to do, and that's not been easy. And some people are still worried about this illness going about and how things are going to be. What's it going to be like for a while yet? And it's not easy for anyone. But that's just the point of the story that we've been looking at today. It's not just about Jesus calming a storm 2,000 years ago, but it's about the storms and worries we face at different times in life. And you know what? We all do. We all get worried at times. Some people seem never to get frazzled. Some people seem frazzled all the time. We're all different. But all of us have worries and storms that we face in life from time to time. And what the disciples had to learn that day from Jesus was to trust him. He was with them. So hand your worries over. When you're really worried about something, pray and ask God to help you through it, help you with it. Kind of like the worry boxes that were made. Don't just keep it all to yourself, but hand it over to him and let God help. Because Jesus is with us and will help us. And then you know what? 
we find his wonderful peace and calm. So let's now join together in prayer for a minute. And I'm going to light a candle just as we focus for our prayers and our thoughts. Let's pray. We have enjoyed the holidays, but we look forward to getting back with friends. We've enjoyed the nice weather and have lots of things to thank you for, Lord. But sometimes we can get worried and upset about big things that bother us and silly little things that shouldn't bother us. Help us hand it all over to you to trust you and find your peace and strength. Bless us in the week ahead, in school. Bless our teachers. Bless us at home or at work, whatever we're going to be doing. For you are with us, and knowing that, may we find your calm and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. So just one last thing before I finish. The great Dunkel lockdown book. Remember last time I mentioned the idea Molly Arbuthnet had of putting together a book of your stories and experiences and pictures of lockdown and it will be made into a lovely book. So it can be a drawing, a picture, a poem, a painting, a story, anything at all that says something about lockdown for you. Now the deadline was the end of July but I guess with folk being on holiday and so on people's minds aren't thinking about doing that kind of thing. But now schools are going back You'll be more in the mood for doing things and putting them down in paper. So please get your ideas down, send them to Molly, and we'll get the book together. By the end of August, that's the deadline, and we'll get the book put together. Now, that's our message up to over for this time. So before I hand over to Karen for our final song, here's a goodbye from some of the helpers who've been involved today. Bye! Bye! So we're going to finish up our messy church service today with a song. The song is called Over the Mountains and the Sea. It's a really simple song, but it's about how much God loves us. And because of that, we praise him. and the sea your river runs with love for me and i will open up my heart and let the healer set me free i'm happy to be in the truth and i will daily lift my hands for i will always sing of when your love came down i could sing of your love forever i could sing of your Sing of your love forever. I could sing of your love forever. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth. And I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of God. of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing